Stick it down. Uh, take that out. Stick it down. Don't you, don't you. Yeah. That's all right. Just stick it there, and it'll just take the temperature down a little bit. It takes five or ten minutes. Okay. Okay, so now, what happens now? Importantly, lift out the, with the spurtle. Alright. Take the lid off, the lid stays off now. Uh, lift it out so that it's on the plate, let it drip for a moment. Oh yeah, drip, let it drip and then... Oh, I'll drip a bit more. Till it's not everywhere. Okay, let that... But don't let it touch because that's sterile. All that's right, not. Yeah. Okay. Take bring that across so you're not dripping cold water everywhere. Where am I taking it across to? To the colander. Okay. Okay. Take it. Back. And now just hanging on to the edges with your asbestos fingers. Alright. Yeah. Let's then open it up. Open it up. Do I need to keep this clean now? Or I just this? get rid of those two things now. And we're just we're leaving that inside. Mm. It's a little bit wetter than I'd have it, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Okay, mm. now lay it over the top of the bowl. It's with the dirty patch in the middle? Correct. Okay. Move these that you don't need. Okay. Mm. That's why you don't have lots of water on it. Because mm. now there's water everywhere. Okay. Okay, lay that right flat. No creases. This is all. Yep. Oh, I see. That's Make why sure this is such a useful thing to do it on. Mm -hmm. Correct. It is because you can see exactly where you want to go to. Yeah. Sort of check whether it's in the middle of the brown part. Looks because that's your border. Good. Now Not while it's wet. Yep. And see, you haven't had to touch. Yeah. That's all is. clean. Then. Well. Take your flour. This has to be down down low now. Boiling? Yeah. Yeah. Down low. Okay. A spoon. Uh, what is that little thing that lives in there? Oh, the scoop. Hmm, what happened to the scoop? The scoop. What have to do? Now, what you do is <coughs> put that. I actually have a bowl, the small silver bowl. Mm -hmm. You're just trying to limit turning yeah. the whole area into, into a, a flower. A water yeah. and flower storm, or you'll be cleaning up for, for the next as long years. as it takes to oil the jolly thing. I'll have to get the bigger bowl. That bowl? I just remember that excited about having an excess amount of cleaning up. So we just put some in, because if you put that over there, yeah, just look. Okay, now we're right to go. And what we're going to do is start in the middle. Yep. And we're just shaking gently. And what we're looking to do is to get a complete two to three millimetres of complete cover over the area that's going to surround the pudding. All right, so go. that's going to be a little bit of the... Up. It's like that, just very gently everywhere, just past the brown edge of the brown line. Yeah, that's nice. And it's, see what I mean? It's just that two or three millimetres thick. If you've got a big thick wad of it, when you bite into your pudding, it'll be like it's a big nice. mouth of blood. But when it's that thin, sort of pastory skin, mm, that's nice. Yeah. You get the texture. But if it's thin, too thin, it'll leak. That's really nice. Yeah. And you just gotta just take your time. This takes a few minutes, and then add a bit more. It's helpful to have an assistant for this mm. part. Tim's often helped me do this part and the part where you put it in and now Do okay. I just have to hold it up a bit? Now start no, just let it dry down and some will drop but you're just trying to get a little 
a small area that you can just mop up easily. Going nicely. That's good. Keep going. And remember, when you put your pudding in, I think you need a bit more. Where does it look a bit thin? Somewhere it looked. Like. No, that looks good. Looking good. Yep. Don't worry if a bit falls down. It's just you just try and contain it a bit. That's nice. When you've put your mixture in and it sinks and takes the shape of the colander, then some of this will fall back on top, and that's what makes the base seals the base. Oh, and right, you add okay. a little bit extra then, just okay, before you seat it. I'd go a bit more here. Right. Yep. Getting someone to check it is a good plan. All right, it's so okay, fairly wide. Yeah, fairly good. That, that looks pretty good actually. Just double check. Tim might see there's one little bit or like that crease area. I mean, it's not absolutely exact, but don't worry. Yeah. I'd just go a little bit there. Yeah, I'm just adding it. Just a little bit. But all this looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. Yeah, there's a bit on this. Just round round Tim's side, it's a little bit. Yeah, this seam here, I've got to do a bit more. But you get the drift pretty. This is your seal. This is what's going to stop the water yeah, coming no, in. Yeah, I understand that. So it's really the only critical part um, of the whole exercise. But it's not hard. That looks good. Perfect. Okay, okay now you get your pudding out. Mm -hmm. You want a nice big spoon, yep. like... Um, and you've got to be careful just to gently place it in in big yeah. spoonful. And I will do. Now I can use that one over there. Mm -hmm. And then you use that. And you don't need this just to get the final bit out. Oh, yeah. So we can put that. This and I just literally put a spoonful and yep. a sort of spoon for the spoonful. Yeah, don't overdo it because it'll fall off on the way if you over you just do it a few times and you get how much actually stays on the spoon. You don't want to um, what's the word? Have it drizzle yeah, across. So I just in the middle. Gently. The weight of the pudding will yeah. make it take up the form. Just gently pop it around so you don't end up making it skew. You end up keeping your centre. Yeah, yeah. so you want it just yep. evenly. Yeah, you're making a planet in the universe. <laughs> I'm trying to make it into a physics allegory. There we are. That makes sense. There we are. That's good. And, yeah, that's good. So it's a little bit careful, but it, it's worth just taking a moment to get it well placed. I think what you need is that yellow thing. Can Tim pass the yellow thing? Thanks. Make a space, I'll pass the yellow thing. And if you just use this to help scoop it off and position it, you'll be fine. I'll swap spots and I'll stop it falling over. Okay. That's it, then you can just... All right. Cool. See, okay. that's easier. If you have a helper, mm. you um, do it. Good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, just uh, don't be too ambitious. Yeah, no. You find you've got a big log on the floor and you go, oh, that's a shame.
telling you. Can... More concerned no, that... no, it's fine. Just okay. power on. Keep with it. Keep with the program. It's going fine. Oh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. that's what happens. It's not a crisis, but it it can. Yeah, it could be. The it, idea, yes. Can I just get that off so it doesn't? Yeah, muck it up. You just throw it in the middle. It'll be all right. Okay. Next, quick, keep going. You gotta keep moving. It's up nice this week, isn't it? <laughs> gotta keep moving. That's it. Watch your placement. Just have a look on the other side and see how much flowered air area you've got sitting around mm. so that you, you're adding it in a fairly even way. Yeah, well you can see the inside, yeah. like a lot more of it's come down. That looks good. So you just put a bit, big block on the other side. Now I can sit this here. Yep, and you can sort of just, just sort of wiggle it to where you want it to be and it's not 100% critical, but when you're careful, you reduce the risks of, um, yeah, of nice issue. Thing. Yeah. And if you know what you're trying to avoid, that helps too. That looks grand. Now you're getting down to the point where you're getting all the um, fruit out, and you're going to left with mixture. So mix the mixture mm, in with the yellow just... one. Or you'll find that people who get the yeah. bottom end of the cake don't get fruit. How does it always go like that? Oh, it's just the nature. Yeah, nature of it. That's it. And you see it around there. Just get it off and then it's in the cake that has a uniform distribution of the fruit. Some people will make a cake or a pudding and the cake will sink, the fruit will sink to the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's very disheartening. Oh, that's where the mixture's not thick enough. Mm. That's not right. Where it's too runny. Which is why if it looked too runny, that's good. I'd leave it in the fridge before I... I'd get it to this phase even and just give it 15 minutes or something to... Oh, right. Hard enough if it's the hot day. That's what I do. Oh, right. Okay. The hot day management approach. Okay. Anything dangerous through there? It's close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, Jasper, not for you. What's pudding? I don't think so. Okay, you're nearly there. It doesn't actually take that long, it just. Just, um, that's really good. And you're thinking about the fact that when the pudding cooks, you've got the bottom becomes the top and the top becomes the bottom mm. when you put it on your plate. So what you can do is just very gently move it so that it's not flat, but it just kind of has a shape to the edge. When you pleat it, the, the material will form around it, so you don't have to really push it too much. Just gravity will do it, but I just not have a mountain in the middle kind of thing. Otherwise be oh, you want it pretty flat? Well, you know, flat-ish. That's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just, just not a mountain. Otherwise, if you, you bend it like that, then when you put it on the plate, you'll have a spinning top. <laughs> Pudding. No, that's beautiful. Yep, okay. And they go in. Someone can make that at their leisure. Okay, and you've managed it without a big mess. But what you need to do now is get a little bit more flour. Yes. And what you do is just check there's no big holes. No, it looks fine. And do a light sprinkle across the top, which does make a little bit of sludge at the bottom. But it does seal it. Yes, it helps to seal it. And this that you've made here will fall in. Yeah, keep going. Just give it a nice... You can, you can cut this off on the day if it's too much. Good. Okay, when you open it up, all right. That looks good. Okay, now the, now the next important thing, and this is pleating. I'll just read you what Grandma wrote. 
Move, Jasper. Thank you. I'll read you her words. So you flower well with flower sifter. We've done that. Yep. Pleat the cloth and tie firmly with strong string below your hand. Now, this what it what it means. What it means to do is oh, there's a gap. I just re put a bit there yeah. and there. Okay, so do a bit quick inspection. Just make sure you've. All oh, this looks perfect. There's just one big hole there where it's moved. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. Now we need to have a bit here ready to tie that's about sort of so long. A metre or something, whatever you like. Doesn't matter. Kitchen string. You don't want stiff string, you want nice malleable string. Alright. Now you start, so you're going to have end up with all this cloth yeah, pleated firmly bit. pleated into one pole coming from the centre. Mm -hmm. So to achieve that, can't you keep your string close by, ready to go, and start from probably wherever it's convenient, whatever point, you're going to mm -hmm. do it differently. I'll just show you. Yeah, just. I'll show you my left handed, I don't know how you go. I bring it across to the centre, yeah. and then I start making two centimetre pleats, yeah. and capture it in, and just take my time, and I'm trying to get it nice and even around. Okay. You might go back the other way. No, it's alright. I can do that one. So keep it tight. Yep, keep a little tension, because as you're doing this, you're forming the shape of the pudding. Mm -hmm. Yep. Doesn't have to be exact, but I kind of match them. Yep. You keep going around and you will work a little faster normally. <laughs> By the second or third time. That's good. Yep. This is where you see whether you've actually. So we'll be with you in about five minutes, but you can watch the antics. We're just doing a, a Tim's filming oh, us. You're doing the clock. And we're doing a filmed tutorial. Just take a seat, make yourself comfortable. Well, we're just doing quiet, a. Please. Oh yes, there's great concentration going on here. <laughs> Tim, Stephen's a bit nervous and he's going to stuff it up at this point. Oh, I shouldn't have done that film, should I? Sorry. Now when you get to the end, you have a little moment where you have to just, that's good. I'll just get the recipe, because the words, interpreting what the words mean is uh, quite important. This is looking very technical. It, it is actually quite technical. It it's, uh, requires faithfulness. To the to the. Uh, How do you get round? Okay, so now we're at the tricky part, mm -hmm. and what we do here, we've got a nice hold of it. I'll probably show you first. Yeah, that's probably best. Okay, make sure you've still got good hold of it, yeah. and then I just do it alternate. All right. Yep. Oh, you until go I use up the last of it. Yep. So I just alternate. Okay, where you go? Alternate, but really. Making sure you keep the tension on the yeah. cloth and you'll yeah. keep the shape of your pudding. So you just go backwards. Yep, one alternate one way then the other. And you end up with one bit sitting flush against it. And that's fine. <coughs> mm. Now I'll just borrow that stool for me a moment. 
Wait, sit, um, sit. Sit, son. You're all wet. Mm, what are you doing? I'm in the rain. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Looks good. Yep, then just fold it. Now, Grandma says here, pleat cloth and tie right, it firmly. Just move them out of the way. Just because we, we don't want to. Come on. Thanks, Dad. Just distract him for a moment would be fantastic. Okay, now, pleat cloth, tie firmly with strong string below your hand. And here's, it's very good if you have someone to help. And what you, what you need is a little bit of volume for, the, for it to expand, mm -hmm. but not so much that it, it lets in lots yeah. of air. So you've got a good handle on it. I'd be going, I'd be going something like, yeah, so you get a, that's fine. And this is where you'll need your assistant. You're nice and firm, nice and firm. And then come back and you need string that will actually hold tight, not the not the um, cord, not the... Yeah, good twiny string. Not the twine, yeah. Twine. Because this has got to really secure it. Yeah. Okay, now what I've done is make a knot. So it's nice and secure. And then what I'm going to do is start to pull this all together just with a little loop. So see how I've hooked mm. it up, brought it round. Yeah, just looped it. Brought it through itself. It's like a half hitch or something. And then up to the next guy. All right, yep. Again, another two centimetres up. One inch up, about that. And and then you've got two ends. Just tie your two ends. So it's pretty secure actually. Tie your two ends in there. And uh, okay. And then this is going to be your loop mm. that you, not that it hangs up because it's probably not strong, enough, strong yeah. enough, but what holds gives you a, something to deal with. And I'm just using a couple of half hitches just to secure it. Now, hanging on to your thing, you're going to just check how much water you've got in the pot and make sure you don't need to top it up before you put it in. Mm -hmm. So leave, that's fine, your assistant can hold that. Alright, so you check them out. Oh, I think there's plenty in there. Okay, so lift him across and gently immerse the pudding. Yep. Okay. Done. Yes. Now, keep the water boiling and the pudding covered. Uh -huh. We see, Grandma wrote it down, but unless you understand what she meant, it's, it's quite hard. Nice. And you see how that was the perfect amount. Now, some people, water's not boiling. Water needs to be boiling. So, so make take sure. It out. No, no. I just bring it up to a gentle boil. And you might find on that you've got to put it on this, but I don't normally, but it's just a different, that's a bigger pot than I normally use. Um, the only thing I'd say, uh, that's okay, don't worry about that, no, that looks good. So, oh, I've, I've collected them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so that could be boiling. It should be boiling. I would want, would have preferred that was bubbling. Oh, right, okay. When you put it in there. It's not a crisis. Now sometimes people find if the, depending on the bottom of the pot, if the bottom of the pudding burns, mm. you need to put an upside down old plate, some spacer, so it's not on the, mm. directly on the heat. I have a suspicion this is going to be a better solution to distribute to put the it heat. On here. Not on this one, but on, okay. on there. But let's boil. just wait till it boils. Mm. So. See, this is Grandma's actual front. Yes. Well, is that Grandma's? Grandma's Christmas pudding. That's her actual written recipe. Oh, okay. But not so easy to follow for the. 
average person? Well, for the uninitiated. Uh huh. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we didn't forget anything. I don't think so. I think all the ingredients are in. Yeah. Mm. It would have been really nice if it was boiling. But look, it's nearly there and it'll only take a moment. So it was. Mm. Well, you will drop Not the temperature well. when you put the pudding in there. Yes. So it'll take a minute. There's a bit of water to heat there, I guess. So it was it'll already. Take a little. It was boiling before and then it just went down. Oh, right. Under the boil. Okay. It shouldn't be too bad. Then. No, it won't be long. Now, it's what it's got. It's not critical exactly how long. Anywhere between five and six hours. So make sure you check the time. So it's going to be between half past nine and half past ten. Mm -hmm. And for the whole oh, time, no. the pudding it needs to be on a gentle boil. And five and six, so. Five to six. So put it on for five. Mm. The longer you cook it, the darker the pudding is. Oh, right, okay. Now, I usually do the five hours because we get a slightly less dark toned pudding. If you do six hours, you get a darker look. look. You see what I mean? So, yeah. depending on your. Depending on preference. But preference. I find the five hours is good. And on the day, just one more hour, yep. which we'll do on the day. So Tim you end up being six me, but so Stephen hasn't seen the whole process. Yeah. Well, you usually help me at the end. Tim yes. helps me in the middle. Because there are parts mm. that need two people. Mm. Yes, and there's something worth remembering. Exactly. Well, Grandma Hunt thought so. Uh, and as Tim said, a lot of grandmas. A lot of grandmas. Because you see, when Grandma wrote this, what did she write? She wrote Grandma's Christmas Pudding. And that was her grandma. Mm -hmm. you think about that. Like, when worry. you think about it in the first person, mm. that's it. Yes. Okay, we just have so to make not, sure it doesn't all bother like that. Very old but recipe then. It probably is, actually. Hmm. Okay, well we're probably done with the video. Thank you for the video, Tim. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you.